right, my pretties, what's up? It's the Lion Queen here. Today I am going to be doing my top five worst Loud House episodes I have ever seen. So, I'm going to be completely and utterly honest with this. Is I'm going to basically go ahead and, you know, talk about, well, this episode, you know, these episodes that I find that they are awful. Now, before I begin, I want to make a disclaimer that this is just only my opinion on these episodes. Like, if you disagree with me on any of them, that's fine. If you like them, that's fine. I mean, this is just my opinion. But, you know, in all due reality, I know The Loud House had a fair share of bad episodes. But uh, there's a couple of them I can definitely state that are literally the worst out of everything. But, however... You know, I am well aware that this is for kids, obviously, and I just want to make it statement right now. This is only my opinion, and if you disagree with me, that is fine, too. We are all entitled to our own opinions about these episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, basically explain, you know, what this ep what these episodes are about. So, yeah, anyways, I, I, I know The Loud House has still been going on, and... It has still been on air for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and basically explain about it. So let's get on with this list, shall we? And I do know for a fact that this is just my opinion. So yeah, please, no opinion bashing or anything like that when you come here to make your opinion on the videos. Well, not videos, but not just videos, but the episodes itself. So I think we should begin with it. The Greenhouse. Now, this is obviously an episode from Season 1. So, yeah, this episode is definitely one of the, well, not really the best episode, but it definitely was not terrible. But there I did spot some things that was wrong with this episode. So, basically, the plot of this episode is about Miss Johnson's class is taking part on an eco fan friendly polar bear challenge in which they try to find ways to reduce their footprint. But Lincoln's large family, which aka his sisters and his mom and dad, but his mom and dad were not present in this episode. It's his sisters. Yeah, like 10 of his sisters like use the incredible amount of energy for their everyday needs. And however, Lincoln is in danger of becoming an outcast to his schoolmates for not going green. So, however, that's when Lincoln tries to, you know, get all of his siblings to the green zone. Own. So then that way um, he can save his social life. However, though, this is when things got weird. After, you know, reducing the energy, gee, of course he tries to... Lincoln wants to play this little game with Clyde called Swords and Cyborgs. Kind of like Dungeons and Dragons kind of spoof sort of thing. However, this is when, um, yeah, this is when a lot of things went wrong. And Lincoln basically just tells his sisters not to use the energy. But he goes ahead and he, you know, uses some of the energy in this. I mean... Lincoln is just a, such a hypocrite in this in this episode. I mean, you know, he. Be, I think this is actually one of the worst episodes that honestly makes me like Lincoln. Why are you such a fucking hypocrite? Like first you said to your sisters that you they can't waste energy, but you're going ahead and you know you're playing you know video games with Clyde and your friends. Like, what a hypocrite Lincoln is in this episode. I honestly really. We have to say this was definitely makes me feel like, oh, my God, why the hell does this exist? I mean, it's a season one episode, so I'm willing to give it, you know, a bit of a chance. But at the same time, it's honestly just dumb. That's all I can really say. So if I'm missing something about this episode, please let me know what it is in the comments below. So I guess we can go on with the next one. Well, this next episode is One of the Boys. This is definitely one episode, I have to say. I think it it's another season one episode, but I feel that this episode could have been better. It does have some interesting potential. And basically, it's about Lincoln Loud going and um, 
pretty much going in another dimension where he has, you know, 10 brothers instead of 10 sisters. So basically what happens is that Lincoln wishes that he had 10 brothers instead of 10 sisters. So Lisa gives him a device that would show him the reality. So he goes there and it's everything's the same except he's got 10 brothers instead of 10 um instead of 10 sisters. Honestly, I honestly didn't think that this one was that good because honestly, I just feel that, you know, this whole thing, I mean, the thing about his, you know, 10 brothers in that alternate universe is that they're more noisy, they're more disgusting and gross, and they're louder than his sisters. So honestly, this episode was pretty pointless if I'm being completely and utterly honest. I honestly feel that this episode was more, well, pointless than anything. If I'm going to be completely honest about it, so... Yeah, but like I said, if I'm missing something about this episode, please let me know what it is in the comments. Also, I think I've covered everything on this, but if I haven't, let me know. So I guess we'll, um, I guess we'll go with the next, um, episode, shall we? Serial Offender. Now, this episode was definitely pointless, and honestly, it was just kind of dumb. It was really stupid in my honest opinion because this episode is basically about the loud children take a trip to the supermarket to do the grocery shopping for their mother. As Lincoln wants to get this, well, certain cereal. However, while he's at the store, his sisters started causing a ruckus and they started coming up with many ways just to get them in, you know, just to get them upset. He's trying to make sure the sisters don't, you know fuck around but unfortunately they get you know kicked out of their own um they get kicked out of their of the supermarket and Lincoln is the only one who gets grounded he gets a cereal at the end of the episode but in all due reality D he still got grounded and he they didn't even confess to their mother that they were the ones who were causing the ruckus roughhousing etc honestly this episode was just not that good I honestly really didn't know why, but honestly, this episode was just flat out bad. Like, it's just terrible. That's literally all I can really say. That's just all I have to say was that this episode was just literally terrible. But however, we do know for a fact that, you know, more Loud House episodes over time, do some do get worse, others don't get worse, and some of them get better. But however, that's just... um. That's just how I feel personally. And I personally think that this episode could have been better if it wasn't so terrible. But at the same time, this is a season one episode. So I'm kind of willing to willing to say that this episode was not that good. If you like this episode, that's fine. If you don't like it, I respect your opinion. But yeah. So I guess with that being said, I guess we should go on with the next one. Of course, we've got another one called Brawl in the Family. This is a season two episode, episode three. And this episode, honestly, was one of the worst episodes of The Loud House. Uh, next from the other one, which is at number one. I know Loud House had a fair share of bad episodes, but this one definitely was one from season two. And honestly, this all started when Lori and 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 Lenny both bought the same dress and they are very pissed off at each other at each other's throats over the dress. So of course they had the sister fight protocol, which honestly resembles them trying to, you know, separate the sisters from each other. So no more fights can start. However, Lincoln tries to solve it all, but it doesn't work because as uh, basically Luna or Luann sleeps with Lori and Lenny sleeps with in Luna and Luann's room. So, honestly, the sisters switch places, and of course, yeah, Luna and Luann get into a fight the next day, and it didn't really help much. So, it basically involves all the sisters and the argument and stuff. So, as everyone's getting in, you know, an argument, they're at each other's throats and stuff. Honestly, if, if Lenny and Lori didn't freaking fight over a fucking dress, then none of this fucking shit would have happened. You know, none of this, you know, arguing 
would have happened. But unfortunately, it did, and everyone gets in the fights. Epi- this episode sucks because it literally just involves fighting. It just literally involves everyone getting into a hissy fit over dumb things. And honestly, it just makes me want to punch a freaking computer screen. Honestly, that's just how I feel personally. Because this episode kind of makes me angry because of how bad it is. Now, I haven't, I recently watched the episode again because I haven't watched it in so long. And by God, this episode has not changed one bit. It's still terrible. I mean, I'm being completely and utterly honest with this episode. Now, if you guys like this episode, that's fine. If you don't like it, I don't blame you. But honestly, this episode was just one of one of the ones from season two. Honestly, it was not that good. So I definitely got to say it's definitely um, it's definitely one story that I really don't care for. But anyways, I guess we should go on with the worst episode ever that I'm going to be talking about and be ready because you know I did talk about this next step. This next episode, I talked. I talked about like maybe I think in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two. I can't remember, but I did talk about this episode in another video at one point. Yep, you guessed this one, all right. It's no such luck. One of the worst Loud House episodes, even though this episode was only the beginning of season two, and this episode was literally the freaking worst. Basically, this episode. Involves, you know, Lincoln always attending to his sister's, you know, uh, events and he wants time to himself. So he pretends to, you know, say that he's bad luck just to get out of it. And everyone believes in bad luck after Lynn blames Lincoln for being bad luck because he was there. Because every game she's been to, she's won. And every game she... He, um had Lincoln there she had lost honestly it's over a freaking game and honestly this episode really makes me angry because in all due reality what happened is that you know Lincoln gets kicked out of the house at one point and what's worse is that this is mostly child abuse 2.0 in a freaking kid show like seriously like why does this episode have to freaking exist I honestly don't get it I mean What's worse is that I'm trying not to get angry here, guys, because this episode really furiously makes me angry. I mean, I don't know why this episode is not even banned, banned, you know, from television yet. I don't get it. If it was freaking banned, this would have been better. And I really hope this episode does get banned someday. Honestly, this episode really makes me mad because it honestly just um, makes me mad to see because it involves Lincoln getting, you know, you know, pretty much thrown out of his house. And honestly, he gets treated like garbage at this point. I mean, the parenting, the parents even believe in bad luck. I mean, they are so freaking stupid. Honestly, they're just so freaking stupid. They honestly, it's, I don't even know what the hell is going up with their brains, honestly. This literally makes me want to freaking punch a screen on a computer or something. I literally just don't understand why this episode had to be so bad. After re-watching, you know, a few reviews of people reviewing this episode, I don't blame them for not liking this episode because this episode sucks. Honestly, if you are watching Loud House, avoid this episode at all costs. This episode is garbage. I literally just felt like punching myself because of how terrible it was. Like, I could definitely say, I know Loud House had a fair share of good episodes, but this one literally takes the shit cake. It literally freaking does. And honestly, I don't really care about this episode at this point because this episode deserves to get drowned in a pool of diarrhea in a toilet. That's literally how disgusting this episode did because of the fact that The worst thing of all is that Chris Savino says that Lincoln got what he deserved. I mean, I don't know what the hell was going up with people's minds when they when they made this episode. But this episode literally made a lot of people angry. And I don't blame them for it, honestly, because this episode literally made me angry when I first saw this episode. I guess there's just 
I already did an episode where I went more into depth and explained more. So I, if you guys want to go check out that one episode, well, not episode, but like that one video I did, and it did involve me talking about how god-awful this episode is. So I went more into depth there. So if you want to go watch that one, you can. It's already on my channel. You could find it. I think it's an older video from like 2021 or 2022. I can't remember, but I did um, do a video on it on one of those years. So this episode was literally garbage. Not good. This is terrible. Don't recommend men watching this episode. This episode legitimately made me angry. And this one made me just feel like, like a complete beast just sitting there and raging over how terrible this goddamn story is. Like, this legitimately made me angry. This is one of the episodes that legitimately made me, me burst into flames. That is how terrible this episode is. Now, I'm going to say right now, if you want to go watch this episode, don't watch it. Like, I don't recommend it. This episode is terrible. You will literally hate Chris Savino for it if you watch it. So, but like I said, I can't stop you. If you want to watch it, I can't stop you, but I don't recommend watching it. It's terrible. Okay. I guess I should calm down now because, you know, I've been going a little crazy and a bit off tangent, but here's the thing. That's literally all I have to say, but if I'm missing something about this episode, let me know what it is in the comments below. If I'm missing something, because I think I covered everything, but if you want to let me know what it is, that I forgot let me know what it is in the comments below because I personally would like to hear what you guys think. So, yeah, I guess that's just wraps up my top five worst Loud House episodes. So I know there's a couple other ones that I didn't find to be the best or whatever, and I could do a video, you know, making it longer, but I don't want this video to go as long as it is. So. I guess with that being said and that being the case, if I'm missing something about any of these episodes, let me know what they are in the comments below. And like always, I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new, ring the bell for notifications when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you want to go follow me on DeviantArt, and if you want to follow me on Twitter as well, links to those will be in the about page section of my channel. So you guys can go check that out. Them out. Give me a follow on any of those if you're interested. Also, if you're interested in subscribing to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will also be in the about page section. So you guys can go check out my backup channel and be sure to subscribe to it if you haven't. So I guess that's just all I have to really say. But if I'm missing something, let me know. So I guess that wraps up this video. I will do top five best favorite Loud House episodes, in my opinion, in the future. I don't know when that will be, though. So, yeah, I don't know when that will be, but I will do that whenever I can. So I guess with that being said and that being the case, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. And I'm going to say if you happen to disagree with me on any of these episodes I listed, let me. That's fine, too. We're all entitled to our own opinions. And let me make this clear once again before I end this video. This, this is simply my own personal opinion on these episodes. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. As long as we're civil, that's all that matters. But yeah. Anyways, um, if I'm missing something, let me know what it is in the comments below. So I guess that's all I have to really say. So as always, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out. And like always... Please roll the outro because I'm out.